Hey fam, one of the most highly requested StreamYard features is finally here, <laughs> the pause button. With this feature update, we can now start, stop, and even restart a recording in the same studio. No need to create a new one. And we can pause and resume in case we are interrupted or just to create a jump cut if used properly. This one button addition can revolutionize how you record live to tape content with StreamYard. I was wondering if you could maybe show me how to do that. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at the updated recording feature from StreamYard. So we're back in the studio inside StreamYard and do that process right now. So you can see this is my dashboard in StreamYard. I click the create button here. There it is, the create button. And I select the middle option, recording studio. So record rather than live stream. That's where the options are, uh, or rather than webinar. We got a video coming on that really soon. Um, but we click the record button. We can type in whatever name we want for the record. You have the uh, option to choose if you want to record locally um, for each participant. So you can actually have guests that you invite to the studio just as you would for a live stream or a live show. Instead, you'll be doing a recording. So for those who've never used this feature before, this is pretty dope. And this is one of those things that we're talking about in terms of live to tape content that you're recording with your live streaming platform, even though it's not live, <laughs> but you can record locally and um, upload after the fact. So your, your guests, audio and video will be recorded locally on their machine. And you just have to make sure they stay in the studio afterwards until it's fully uploaded. And then you have that high quality recording. So we click create on this. It automatically takes me into the studio. It's loading it all up. Got everything set up here. I can change my, my camera, my mic, and different other settings just as I would any other time, uh, 1080p, all the other things. You can change those, then you would enter the studio. But since I already have a studio going, I'm gonna continue using that one. And so that's how you would have this record button here. Now, if you ever wanted to change that and say, man, let's this is so good, let's just go live. You could just click edit right here, right? And then you could select your destinations um, that you want to go to and um, uh, set that up for, for streaming to those destinations just like that. But we're going to keep this as a recording studio. And one of the things that I want to show you, of course, is the pause button, the restart button, the cancel button. These are all new functionality that you have with recording. So up to now everything pretty much looks the same if you have used the recording feature before essentially nothing has changed until we click record so i'm going to do that right now i'm clicking record and so now we are recording so the record feature has kicked in we're recording and you can see up in the top uh left that live even though we're not live so but the idea is you are recording. So is, we've been recording for 21 seconds. So now we're recording and you will also see for those who've used this before, you'll notice these icons were not here before. We have pause, we have restart and we have cancel. These are the game changers. These, this, these buttons really allow for us to do something we've not been able to do in the past. And so a pause will simply pause the recording. So I've clicked the pause button. You can see that it, it says paused here at 45 seconds. And maybe you want to make a shift or a change. Maybe you want to pause to go and let the dog out. Maybe you want to pause to respond to the kids. Maybe you got to pause to gather your thoughts and, you know, update your notes because there's something that you left out. You can pause it and then resume it. And you can, you know, work with that in post. Maybe you do it, you zoom in, zoom out, whatever for that recording. But your pause button, you have that there. You can click the resume button and it will resume and you will go back to recording. It says recording resume right there in the middle. But you can decide, you know what, this whole take, even with all the pauses and everything like that, 
I just want to start over and you can click the restart button. You can see here when you click restart recording, it says, are you sure you want to restart this recording? Your current recording will be discarded and you can say restart recording and it'll take a second. And now we're back at zero. So it's it restarted the recording just like that. So it's not I would be clear. It did not stop the recording and allow me to start again when I want to. When you click restart, it's just going to get rid of all of what you recorded up until that point and it will start again immediately. So for some of us, the restart may not be the thing that you want. Maybe you want the pause button, but that's why they also have this button here that says cancel and you can hit cancel. Are you sure you want to cancel this recording? The recording will not be saved. You can cancel and it will take a second, but you can notice everything has kind of gone back to what it was before. You have the record button here and I can record again. And this is the point I want to share for those of us who have used this feature in the past. If you recorded something and you wanted to stop or restart, you couldn't do that. If you stop the recording, you had to create a whole new studio in order to record something else. So the fact that you have this in this way is pretty dope. Now I'm going to actually run a recording just so you can kind of see what that looks and feels like. And so I'm going to get myself prepped here. Um, I'm going to just do my intro. Uh, this is kind of a demo. I hope that you guys are, are catching this. I'm going to do my intro. And one of the things I need to do in order to get that set up is I want to use my stream deck. I want to use my stream deck. And so in order to do that, I am going to do use a hotkey. And so I'm going to go to settings here at the bottom. You see settings here, I'm going to settings, click on settings, and I'm going to go to hotkeys and yes, you're, 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 you're thinking to yourself now, like, no, 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 no. Wait, Kirk, are you telling me that they've added hotkeys for recordings? Yes, I am. Pause or resume recording. I've, I've added shift R for that cancel recording. I've added shift H for that. And I simply go to my stream deck, configure stream deck, um, go into the system, um, area of the stream deck and grab this hotkey item here, drag that onto the stream deck and then simply do shift H and that's going to be one of my, my buttons. Um, shift H is for cancel recording. So you want to, and you can, you know, set this up, make this look pretty, whatever you want to do. I've actually already created these. I'm just showing you how to do that. So there's, there's my pause button there. There's my cancel button there. And this is my broadcast button there. So I have those buttons already set up on my stream deck and I have this already set up in my hotkeys in StreamYard. So you will need to go in and actually assign your pause slash resume and your cancel recordings a actual button. So you want to do that. I want to make sure you guys know you do need to do that. Now, there is no button for the record. There's no there's no hotkey for record. Um, so there's, there's several other things and maybe I need to do an updated video on hotkeys. If you, if you want me to do an updated video on hotkeys, uh, just leave a comment below and we'll get that set up. Cause some of these hotkeys are for the custom layouts. Uh oh, somebody's listening it's for the custom layouts that I've created in Streamyard. I have hotkeys for my custom layouts as well. So some of these things. We have the ability to, to, to really share some things on and do some things with, but really the main focus right now is this section that says recording, pause, resume, and then cancel recording. So let's cancel that. Now my hotkeys are set. I'm in the space that I want to be. I'm going to set up my stream deck where I need it. And I'm going to hit the record button and, and record what I need to record. What's up, fam? It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, uh, the Geek Speaker Preacher. And I believe that your live stream is your digital storefront because there's no greater way for people to experience your greatness, your superpower, your secret sauce than for them to see you do it live. Now I've paused the recording. I just hit it, hit it, hit the button on the stream deck. I've just paused the recording. And all I'm going to do now, this is a little hack. This is a little bonus. Um, I'm just going to hit this settings button here. You saw me do that. So let's do that again. I'm going to hit the settings button here. I'm going to go to camera. It's already on camera, but I'm going to go to camera and I'm going to click mirror my video. And that is going to flip my video around the other side. And so you'll see the end result afterwards, because when I, I recorded that first piece, now I'm changing the, my orientation of my camera. I'm going to hit unpause and record the rest. So what was I saying again? <laughs> your live stream is your digital storefront. All right. So here we go. We're going to unpause. 
There's no greater way for people to experience all that you have to offer the world than for them to see you do it live. When they see you do it live, they don't need the taste test. They're ready to book the business right now. And so now we're paused again. And so I'm going to go back in <laughs> this time. I'm going to I'm going to switch it back, switch my camera back again. And now I'm actually going to select a different layout presentation layout. Um, and I'm going to just kind of walk through some of these items um, and I can control my presentation with the keyboard arrows. So we're going to unpause. And again, this is a clean cut. Boom, boom, boom. And here we go. Unpausing in five, four, three, two. So here we are looking at five custom layouts uh, and, and, and bonus, a Canva hack. I uh, also want to make sure you know about Incubator's Couch. Uh, there is so much uh, this happening with the, the world of tech. The Google Pixel Fold is out. So many different things. You guys get the point. So I'm going to hit the pause button again, and then I'm going to end the recording. And when I end the recording, that video is now saved. And you can see here, it's saying, hey, um, hold it, stay in the studio, stay in the studio until this is uh, complete. And now it's at complete and you have the option to now go and view recording. So we're going to click that button. It's going to take us to the video library where we can view the recordings. And it says it's processing right now. So that's going to take a second. It says it's processing. It's at 64%. Um, but you can kind of get a feel for what that looks like. Right. So it's going to pause here in just a second and it's going to flip over to the other side. Let's see what that looks like. And you can see how that that thing shifted. You can see how that changed. And we're going to actually take a look at uh, there's the next change as well. So again, there's so many different ways that we can utilize this feature. So many different ways that we can uh, take advantage of pausing, stopping, restarting our recordings in StreamYard. And I'm just making sure you guys know about this functionality so that you can utilize it for your content. Did you know that live streaming with overlays, graphics, backgrounds, custom layout designs, stinger slash bumper videos is considered by some as a live video editing? They're not wrong. It just requires you to have all your prep on the front side rather than post. This expanded definition also includes live to tape with no post-production, essentially recorded video. Many streamers and creators are using their live streaming platform to record all their videos now. I know I do. For a long time, Ecamm was the only platform that allowed us to start, stop, and pause recordings. Now StreamYard has finally joined them. At the time of this recording, EV Mux doesn't have the pause capability either, but you can record, while Restream Studio doesn't have a record feature at all. You can only live stream. Ugh. Adoptions like these means that these platforms are growing in how we're using them. Let me know in the comments if you plan on using your streaming platform to record too. Keep up with all the latest StreamYard features, updates, and releases in these videos.